Phoebe had just finished taking photos of Kevin's antique, the Golden Sunburst Tiara. Her senior appraiser rushed into the studio to ask for help with a string of pearls that he was unsure of. Let's go take a look. When they reached the main showroom, Kevin saw a group starting to form around a young man. On the table in front of him was an old mahogany box. May I ask your name? My name is Sam McKay. This is a family heirloom. It never leaves the house, but we're in desperate need of money. They were strung together with what looked like a pure gold clasp. Pure gold South Sea pearls? How much do you want to sell them for? $50,000. Since you're the owner of this establishment, you also know that they're worth far more than that. While everyone was discussing the find, another young man walked in. My name is Charles Grant. Are those actually golden pearls? How much are you selling them for? 50000 Okay, I'll take them. Well, lady, you missed your chance. Mr. McKay, I'll take them. I'll tell you what. I'll give you 75000 for them. I'm sorry, Mr. Grant, but they're right. I can't go against my principles. I'm selling them to the young lady. Then you're the biggest fool in the world. Ma'am, it's your lucky day. These pearls are worth at least 100000 Just as Mr. Landau was about to ask the man for his information to prepare the check, Kevin walked up to Phoebe. President Anderson, if you buy these pearls, you're making a huge mistake. What do you mean? It's quite simple. They're fake. Also, your acting skills aren't that great either. I'm exhausted from trying not to laugh. After hearing this, Phoebe looked at Kevin with a puzzled expression. Kevin took the wooden box from Phoebe and opened it. Everyone here is in the antique business. Sure, the size of these pearls is impressive. However, they've been treated to improve their color and luster. Even the clasp is cheap. A large, perfect pearl should roll like a marble. These pearls are perfect. How dare you destroy my family's most precious treasure? You should at least put some effort into your counterfeits. Has anybody fallen for this cheap crap? I'm sure you have some modern equipment in your lap. Go ahead and check them out. She looked at the printout that Mr. Landau had handed her, and you could tell right away she wasn't pleased. McKay turned pale. Call the police and have him taken to the police station. Grant pointed an accusatory finger at him and yelled, You're selling fakes? I can't believe I almost fell for it. However, as he turned around to leave, Kevin had already blocked his path. The police lieutenant walked directly to Kevin and asked, Where are the suspects? One is here and the other is over there. Officer Emmett looked disappointed. He reached out and pulled on Grant's skin. Everyone was shocked to see him standing there, holding the man's face in his hand. Well, it was actually a mask, and the nasty face that underneath was pretty frightening. The masks on Grant and McKay's faces were so realistic that nobody noticed anything unusual. But how did Kevin see through the deception? Phoebe let out a disappointed sigh. I want to invite you to be the chief antique appraiser for Anderson Fine Jewelry and Antiques. You don't have to come to work every day, but if I need your help, I'll expect you to come in. I can give you a salary of $150,000 a year for your effort. Would that be okay? Let me get this straight. I don't need to come into work every day and I'll earn $150,000 a year. Why would I say no to that offer? Kevin agreed right away. He felt that it was getting late, so he said goodbye to Phoebe and headed back to the office, carrying the tiara in his bag. The next morning, as soon as Kevin arrived at his office, Miss Wilson came in to give him a report on the company's activities. Mr. Williams, today is the premiere of Brittany Davis's show, the one that the Jones family took the lead on. Do you want to attend? I won't be able to attend. If I go, it may affect Brittany's performance. If you can send up the live feed, I'll just watch it here at my desk. He was well aware that Brittany's deal had been set up by the Jones family. Moreover, Lily was personally responsible for it. If he appeared in front of his wife, his true identity would certainly be exposed. Then, when Brittany was halfway through her song, there was a problem with her microphone. The crowd began to boo. Kevin slammed his fist on his desk and called Miss Wilson in. What's going on over there? There are four engineers in charge of Britney's sound equipment backstage. Unfortunately, they've all made a mess of the production. Please call them to my office. A little over a half an hour later, the four staff members who had screwed up Britney's show entered the CEO's office and saw Mitchell Cook sitting in Kevin's office chair smoking a cigar. 
there were several men in black suits and sunglasses on either side of him. Everyone knew about Cook's reputation throughout Chicago. After about a minute of this staring contest, one of them couldn't take the pressure and he stammered, As long as you don't hurt me, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. A few minutes later, Cook ended the impromptu meeting and waved them out of the room. Then Cook stood up and smiled, saying, Kevin, everything is clear to me now. After Cook left, Kevin's phone rang. Dorothy's voice blared in Kevin's earpiece. Do you have any idea what just happened? Hurry up and meet us at the Jones Mansion. Actually, Dorothy didn't want to see Kevin. It was Grandma Jones who had ordered everyone in the Jones family to come right away. She was furious. All right, I'll be right there. While waiting at a stoplight, Kevin called Brittany. When Kevin hung up the phone, he'd just arrived at the Jones Mansion. Suddenly, Jason stood up and pointed at Lily. He sneered and said, Lily, it wasn't easy for our family to set up the deal with Williams Media. You screwed everything up. So now it's up to you to tell Grandma how to fix it. I'm sorry, Grandma. Grandma, I think Lily did a terrible job. In order to keep something like this from happening again, I suggest you pull her out of all her duties in the company. One of the younger members of the family said, That's right, Grandma. What Jason said makes sense. Grandma Jones looked around the room and then looked at Lily. She coldly said, Then it's agreed. From this moment on, you will have no say in the company's affairs. Just as Grandma Jones finished speaking, Kevin stepped forward and declared loudly, I disagree. Kevin, you really have some nerve. Take a look around. None of us want to hear what you have to say. I just want Grandma to investigate this matter further. Why would that bother you? Does this have something to do with you? Jason looked at Kevin awkwardly. Just as he was about to attack Kevin physically, he remembered what had happened at Grandma Jones's birthday party and he lost his nerve. Just as the Joneses were about to leave, they heard a charming voice from the mansion's foyer. May I ask if Grandma Jones is here? Grandma Jones recognized Brittany at a glance and her face fell. Why, Brittany, please don't be angry. The problems at the show were all our fault and it will cost us dearly. Rest assured that I've already taught Lily a lesson. She's been pulled from all our company projects. When Brittany heard this, she turned to look at Lily. Lily could barely make eye contact. Please don't blame yourself, Lily. I've already looked into this, and it isn't your fault at all. Everyone was stunned to hear this. Brittany turned and shouted towards the door. You guys can come in now. Tell Grandma Jones everything that happened. They all saw the four Williams Media sound engineers walk in slowly, looking incredibly guilty. One of the Williams employees pointed right at Jason and shouted, It's him! It was Jason Jones who ordered us to do it! That's right! He gave us $75,000 each to sabotage Britney's microphone! The third employee finally spoke up and said, Mr. Jones also said that he would give us each another $75,000 after it was done. The entire Jones family was now glaring at Jason. Hi, Kevin here. If you are wondering what happens next, then download the Pocket FM app and listen to the exciting episodes of Insta Empire now with the link in the description.